Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Conscious and Real. I'm your host, Be Strong. Once again, topic is my 100 random reasons for reparations. And we are on number five, which is water. As we all know, water is almost used to produce anything and everything, you know. But I'm specifically talking about drinking water, cooking with it, and bathing with it. Uh, You can just look to Flint, Michigan, and see how bad the situation could become. And there's other cities and places all over the world. But since I'm in Michigan, you know Flint is what's popping. Uh, We got to test our own water and filter it if we have to. Because they decide how much garbage goes into it and I ain't gonna get into detail on what all could be in your water but if you want to go research it that's fine my problem is they deciding what goes in there and not us excuse me so uh it's gonna cost you know what I'm saying it's gonna cost so we got to be if you ain't gonna come out your pocket to, to, to help fix this problem, then we need reparations for it because they're going to fix it to a way to where it's cost efficient. We don't have time for cost efficiency because we don't know how bad this thing is over the years, generations. We need to know what the true effects is. We got to do that study and that research. Meaning, even if you got to hire somebody else, you got to supervise that and make sure they didn't cut no corners. Make sure that they wasn't, they information is right. That they wasn't lobbied to say, yeah, it's okay. Uh, Like I said, we need to know the the long term effects. And this is stuff that we don't know. And we're talking about whether it's a city, whether it's just your apartment or household. We got to do something about this water situation. Because what's happening is the sickness is coming out. And a lot of times we think we're just doing stuff just because we see it. And that's true. A lot of, a lot of the stuff we is doing is, is because we, we see that. But we also get poor, we being poisoned. And ain't nobody really speaking on the real stuff like that. But we is. You know what I'm saying. So we got to be in control of our whole situation. You know. Even bottled water. We don't even know if bottled water is uh, legit. Because just because the EPA or... Whoever involved in this, the CDC, they say it's cool. They might be saying it's cool and being paid under the table. And like I say, you know, these these businesses have this bad with this with this margin of error stuff. Meaning they don't care if the seventy percent of the people will still survive. They don't care about the thirty. And so this is what we've been faced with. Like we only a lot of people ain't never been to a water filtration plant to see how clean the plant is that's supposed to be cleaning the water. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I ain't gonna make this long, but I do want people to go look on go on YouTube. They had a little boy peed in the damn the clean water reservoir. And they said they had to dump like 38 million gallons just because he peed in it. And so I guess they were saying this, it was okay, shouldn't have did. They shouldn't have dumped all that water. No. Because now we don't know how much junk been in the water. Not just the teenager peeing in it. 
but somebody could shit it in it. Animals could do what they do in it. It could be dead stuff in it. Chemicals could get pulled in it. And I guess they got cameras up, but we already know. You can manipulate that stuff. So I'm just telling y'all, we got to control our own affairs when it comes to a lot of this stuff. And water is one of the issues. And it's going to cost us. And everybody ain't going to want to contribute all of they, they income that they've worked for, save, hustle, or whatever. They're not going to want to contribute to that. So we need our reparations. So we can pay for it. There won't be no extra mess to it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody going broke about it. So like I said, Conscious and Real TV, subscribe to me. I'm going to keep on trying to drop when when I can. Peace. I'm going to holler at y'all.